Welcome all you Libras to your weekly energy update where we're focusing on what energy the Creator wants you to know about the upcoming week. We're looking at the week of May 1st through May 8th. These are timeless though, so if you are coming across this video outside of that time, I'd still trust your intuition and watch the video because I'm sure there's messages for you. We're going to start off pulling a card here from the Syrian Starseed Oracle, I'm sorry, Tarot, not Oracle and just see what the overall energy is that the Creator wants you to know about this week. All right. So for our Libras, what would you like them to know about this week, please? All right, actually, they went to this one right, the top one right there. Actually, they said, no, you get two, of course, Libra. Balancing, so you have this balancing act, you have the seeker of the orbs, which this would be the page of pentacles, or not, not pentacles, uh, swords, because it's all about the air. So this is the page of swords, and then you have the adept of flames, which would be the knight of wands. So this very beautiful energy coming in here for this week. So you definitely have these new communication coming in, this new way of thinking coming in. And then you have the action, the fire behind this new thought coming in. So beautiful, beautiful, uh, very energetic week for you. We're also going to pull from the sun and moon tarot here and just get more clarification on this for you. Let's see what the creator wants you to know about these thoughts and this action. What is whoa, going to be happening here? Grab that one that went flying off here. There we go. What else? Definitely a lot of energy in the cards, my goodness. So they want these two and these two as well. And that one, oh my gosh, those two, okay. So you've got a lot of twos going on here. They want these two together, these two together, these two together, these two together. And then this one, they want to be last. So we will look into this. So these two together, you have the five of swords, and the Four of Pentacles. The Five of Swords would be this transition, this perception change in how you're thinking about a situation. You know, you're gonna see someone, they're laying down here, they're defeated, they're not dead, but they have them trapped in their thoughts, and this person, you know, basically this could be down here, or this could be uh, you up here, but it's like this defeated feeling, like you have defeated someone and you must win. There's like this, I want to prove that my small t truths of, you know, my conditioning, my expectations that I grew up with. I gotta prove that they are right and yours are not as right or that they're even wrong. But this Four of Pentacles, you can see how it talks about power here. The four is a very solid number. It's like a table with four strong legs on it, which is a strong foundation. And the Pentacles in this kind of arrangement is about your worth. And so this conflict that's coming is bringing this new way of thinking about. So conflicts that you've had where you may have won the battle, but you lost the war because the person didn't want to be in this situation anymore, or you didn't want to be in the situation anymore. So the relationship has basically parted. And you realize like, wow, needing to be right isn't as important to me as wanting to uh, have a peaceful interaction with them. And discovering your power and your worth from within you instead of from outside is really what is unfolding here. And we'll continue to look and see what other messages are coming in regard to that. And so we'll look at these two next. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got the sun. The sun can represent the ego, the child side of you. It's one of the most beneficial and powerful abundant cards though. And you can see like this is harmony here. And I almost want to like put them in reverse here because the seven of wands is like this feeling this need to defend. I mean, you see the people that are attacking you here and you're up on the hill defending. But this is like this awareness that you have the higher ground. You don't have to defend yourself. And I kind of feel like this is a story that's unfolding, that you've realized this and you're moving into this or are currently in this kind of 
place that you realize the most beneficial feeling is like I love it when I experience this and I'm not in this defensive mode which makes total sense actually let me just move these over a little bit because I'm gonna run out of room and we'll take a look at these two together yeah and you have two very powerful cards here from the Major Arcana. You've got the Lover's card, which is all about emotional choices. And you have the Judgment card, which is really double endings and double beginnings because you're realizing that you're so much more than this human experience here. You are this powerful, supernatural, eternal spirit being made of unconditional love. And so there's this beautiful awareness that is coming here, This almost like this power of choice you've realized what you want in life. You didn't enjoy these feelings here. You enjoyed the power. You enjoyed this warmth, this abundant feeling of the sun. And so this is life-changing stuff. When you look at like the minor arcana, those are like situational type of messages. But when you move into the major arcana, this is like life application type of messages that are coming in. So you're moving into making these changes in your life where you are really discovering your power of choice and not only that you can choose but you're understanding what you want to choose. You kind of I kind of feel like this boredom that you've had with feeling the old ways. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand what it feels like to be right or to be wronged and I'm just tired of that. I like the harmony. I love the unity and the getting along together. So I really love that feeling. I don't know why they're giving me the feeling that it's like when you go into a political season and you have everyone battling against one another. Blah, 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 blah. You're just like, I'm so ready for that to be over so we can go on to living life instead of having this conflict. And I kind of feel like that's the kind of energy that's coming up for you. Yeah. And here we go. Yeah, because you have the Eight of Swords here. So you really have moved to this new level in your thoughts and your belief in your mindsets. You realize how you have felt like a puppet before to all those expectations and the conditioning that you had before. This Queen of Wands, one of the most powerful energetic cards because she has realized that she holds the fire within her. She, out of all of the you know, all the, out of all the queens, she's the one that has this ability to really fine tune her focus and she gets stuff done. She's the one that goes forward. I mean, like this adept of flames, this is the knight and this is the queen that comes right after him. So this is about using your power, using that fire within you to make things happen, to make those changes. And so I love the transformations that have come here for you with all of this. And I'm really interested to see what this final card is here. Yep, so you have the Princess of Cups, which would be the Page of Cups. So you've got the Page of, um, you know, Thoughts, the Page of Swords. So new thoughts, and this brings in new emotions. And I want to put it right here because there is this harmony. I love dolphins too, of course. But this is this new offering of a new emotional state. So you have this new way of thinking because you are cutting yourself away. This Eight of Swords is like this awareness that it's been your own thoughts and beliefs that have make, been making you feel bound and blinded and constricted. And now you have this new thoughts coming and bringing new emotions, this new flame, this new fire, this new passion that's coming in. And it's allowing you to make these changes and, and uh, apply it, this new power that you're having in this different direction than you had been experiencing before. And no judgment for what you experienced before because that's what this life all is all about is experiencing life. And you always have this choice, you know, the lover's card, you always have this emotional choice. I can choose an emotion of the fear of losing conditional love of the world or of unconditional love of the creator of all things and of that whole posse of beings of unconditional love and light back home. It's always 
a simple choice between one or the other. If you're not feeling the unconditional love, then you're in the fear world fearing the past or the future instead of being in the moment full of unconditional love. So there is this new energy coming in here for you, which I am loving. We're also going to pull a couple cards from this Wild Offering Oracle. Let's see what the final message that the Creator has for you for this week. All right, so for our Libras, what else would you like them to know about the energy? Okay, and they want that one right there. Okay. So you have this one, which is perfectionism. It says, permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It's the root of creativity and change. Allow me, divine, to make as many mistakes as I need. Free me from the prison of perfectionism, which would be this Eight of Swords, right? This is the prism of perfectionism. These are all the thoughts and beliefs and mindsets that have made you feel trapped and confined and blinded, right? So this awareness that's coming in here for you is freeing you from those feelings, allowing you to be and remember who you really are, right? And then your final card here is empowerment when you ask the divine to take over you get pulled into your own authentic power it's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence unfold my true and radiant self dear lord yes exactly this unfold the true and radiant self that you truly are so you do definitely step into your power this week with everything that you've been it's like this big aha everything comes together for you this week and you have this real realization of just the power of choice that you have here so i am loving this for you you know, you're all about the balancing. You're all about the understanding the, you know, both sides of things. And so you've been focusing on one for a very long time. And Libra, you're balancing it out. And, uh, you know, having this understanding of this higher place, this higher entity and powerful being you really are. So I love this. If you are looking for even more messages of love from above, in addition to these weekly energy updates, I also put out monthly readings for each zodiac sign, uh, also a few other types of videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those messages and be notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click this like button, also click the subscribe button that gives you access to this notification bell when you go in there if you select the all option then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on the channel also doing those things help spread the love because when you like a video you share a video you comment on a video or you subscribe to a channel those things just make the YouTube algorithm so excited it wants to share the videos of that channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, I am very grateful for that. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information for your specific life, I do offer personal readings, and all that information is listed in the description box below. All right, all my Libras, as you go through this amazing week, please know that every second of every day of your life, that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. You have an amazing week. I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. But in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.